knew from the day he was born that he was someone special for she had prayed to God for a son after having so many girls and in her prayers she promised the Lord that if he blessed her with the son she would return him to the Lord and so at birth his mother dedicated his life to the Lord Born one of 19 children, Bishop Dillard began preaching at an early age. He is a man of many talents. During his youth, not only did he have the gift to preach, but was also an accomplished musician as well, where he demonstrated by playing the steel guitar, organ, piano, and drums. And when he wasn't playing, he was teaching someone else how to play. When he wasn't working for the Lord, which was very seldom, he would promote his own business as a general contractor in a partnership. But knowing that the Lord's work had to be done, he would later retire from contracting and became a full-time minister. Listen as he comes to us from one of his earlier messages.
see up. Our first lady, Dickens Jenkins, and to our staff of chief helpers, our bishops, minister, elders, ministers, deacons, saints, and our friends that are visiting with us. We thank God for the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth without controversy. Thank God for Mother Tate, the founder of the way. She is sleeping, but the work is very much alive. And I can say thank you, Jesus. When I began to look around and look forward, and see the great gathering that we have today. This is Mother Tate's work. Amen. That's what I believe. Notwithstanding, we know that she may not have made the speed that is being made today, but Logan never traveled as fast as high gear. Low gear have to start the automobile, and without low gear, high gear would be helpless. But nevertheless, in order for an automobile to get the way it's headed, it certainly don't want to run in low gear all the time. It looks to get in another gear that may be able to get you there much faster. And we thank God for this great church. We don't just look at this particular gathering here. If you travel in various states, you can see the work of the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the building ground of the truth. I am proud of this church. Because I feel just like the Bible said, it's none of us. I feel that, like the Bible said, it is the gate. And Jesus said, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Want somebody to say amen. <laughs> and as we notice for the day we're going on, the speaker, uh, the ones that are in charge did tell me that they were going to give me as much time as I needed because we were for hell of schedule. And uh, I don't think I'm going to need that much time. Uh, nevertheless, I know no other way but to let God have his way with anything I do. Because without God, I can do nothing. I thank God for Bishop Jenkins, everything I am in the Lord, I owe it to him. Amen. I remember that years ago, as you hear that my home is Alabama, when I was about five years old, I believe four or five, somewhere along there, I remember Bishop Jenkins coming to our house. Amen. And when I was about, I believe about seven years old, I remember him coming there again. And I was a little boy way out on the farm there, and he came out there and stayed with us. Amen. And so you can see that Bishop Jenkins have known me for a long time. And I thank God for it. But we look today at the theme that we have for this occasion. The man of God with the vision. The man of God with a vision. Amen. Proverbs, the 29th chapter, the 18th verse, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Amen. 
young Henry met our first lady, Rudine. And on July 2nd, 1985, the Lord saw a need for these two beautiful people to join hearts and hands in marriage in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Not only is he a wonderful husband, but also a father of seven children, 15 grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren. But we know that his joy, which is our joy, is his daughter, Joya, who is a sophomore at Hampton University in Hampton, Virginia. great music, but he sings as well. Listen as he serenades us with one of his many songs.
Reverend Child Elder Dillard has traveled many places abroad and afar, including states such as Pennsylvania, Florida, Tennessee, Ohio, New York, North Carolina, and toured the Holy Land. and Child Elder Rudine Dillard, we salute you on your anniversary. May God bless and keep the both of you in his care. And the sky is the limit. Oh, my God. 
I didn't, I didn't play 